a big crowd. I've just got off at Green Park uh, Station and we're cutting through, I think this is St. James's Park, and all these people are going to watch the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. It's where they change the guards on horseback, um, very lovely sort of uniforms and the horses are all decked out. It's absolutely fab. I've seen it a couple of times, but I thought on this London travel blog, I will take you to see it also. So, see all these people. It is a huge thing. Um, so I will honestly, if you're coming to London, then you need to come and see the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. to take you around London and to tour London and um, I hope you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and like and share and um, our first stop today is going to be at Buckingham Palace and we're actually waiting for the changing of the guard to start um, and let me just see if I can get some stuff in the background for you to have at the moment because we're all waiting for it to start and security is quite a lot so there's lots of police around and there's also police helicopters above us um, obviously this is the residence of the royal family and it is um, there's a lot of security and police and things around here so we're just waiting for it to start if you're coming to London I would really recommend for you to try and come to Buckingham Palace there is a designated website for the changing of the guard so check the website Website to make sure that you come on the day on a day when the guards are actually being changed and it usually starts around about 11 o'clock um, so it's quite it's gonna be lovely the day is perfect and uh, so I'm just waiting for it to start and then I'll start vlogging <laughs>
changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Pretty crowded there with lots of security. But where I am now is called Horse Guards Parade. And this is where they tend to celebrate the Queen's official birthday with an official parade with mounted horseback um, soldiers, the cavalry. I think it's something you see every year. It's shown, I think it happens around about June, middle of June somewhere. And this is where they celebrate her official birthday with a parade. So let me just give you a quick look. up of Admiralty Arch and as you can see that gate is closed and the reason why that remains closed and it's not accessible to the public or vehicles to go through is that only members of the royal family can go through that arch so when you see royal weddings funerals coronations etc that middle gate is opened for the carriages and the processions to go through. So when Prince William married um, Kate Middleton and she became the Duchess of Cambridge, that gate was opened and the carriages went through that gate. So it's only members of the royal family through processions that can go through that gate. So that's why there's a gate there and it's closed.
moment after doing so much walking uh, around London as you can see in the video um, but at the moment I'm in a very beautiful place and it's actually um, Kensington Gardens and in Kensington Gardens is Kensington Palace where Diana Princess of Wales used to live so this was her home and uh, currently um, Prince Harry lives here in a cottage just behind the house that I'm going to show you of Cambridge, Prince, Prince William and um, Princess Catherine, his wife and their family, they also live on these premises. So they live just behind the building, the palace that I'm going to show you now. And this is a beautiful ornate day and when Princess Diana died, which is going to be this year's her 20th anniversary of her death all out here where people are walking was covered in flowers in front of the gate along this walkway all along here it was covered in flowers as a tribute to her so this is where princess diana used to live it's, it's a beautiful garden where people can just come and relax and just uh, chill out and have a really beautiful afternoon so some of the, the palace is set in the ground of a beautiful park so as you can see it's gorgeous so if you're coming to london i would really advise you to try and come and see kensington palace they do have tours here so you can um, check out the tours as well.